It's not RC. Adventures in Radio Control. Radio Control. <laughs> All right, going back to the graphics here. Uh, I actually want to take a photograph of the wings straight up like this, which I just did. Um, and we're going to lay out the artwork by uh, my nice little ninja um, text here. So we got to size that and make that all right. So, uh, all right, first thing first, I'm going to rotate this image. Ah, oh, there's our wing. All right, let's make sure everything's square here. A little bit of distortion from the uh, wide angle lens of the camera, but I think it'll be fine. Took it with my phone, phone camera, which is, uh, I don't know what the equivalent lens on that size is, but it's pretty wide. So it does a little bit of a fisheye thing, so gotta be wary of that. But for this, I don't think it's gonna matter. Yeah, you see the trailing edge of the wing isn't quite straight in this, but it's okay. All right, so take our ninja graphics, drag them over here. <clears throat> size it so it works with this all right now I got to be careful because there's an aileron in here too so I got to account for that so I'm just going to represent that aileron here So there's our wing. So we're it fairly big. Something like that maybe. I don't know. Kind of going about halfway down the wing on this. Looks kind of right. Less that that here. Let's go a little bigger. Let's try that. Okay. So I should actually be able to take measurements off of this, which will be good for figuring out where the end of the wing is. I mean, oh, where the end of the wing is. <laughs> um, Take measurements of this. I can see how far I got to take this this black area, for example, that I'm putting on the end, the black tip part. All right, that's what we're looking at there. So that looks about right. Good job. Yeah, I like that. So that will be the artwork for our uh, wing. Alright, now I'm going to pull that into my vector program so I can actually make a, a stencil and cut this out with. Okay, I just pulled our layout into uh, Corel Draw here, so I'll have a go here. I'll put a blue uh, filter over it just so I can work on top of it without it being all contrasty. So, I figured out what font this is I used in Photoshop. So, we're going to uh, duplicate this here. Crazy things with the text kerning, if I recall. I don't know if you can do that in here, actually. Okay, yeah, I don't have quite as much flexibility as I do in Photoshop, apparently. So we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. All right, so there's our vector lettering. Uh, we can now go cut that out of the uh, ultra code. Okay, we're back upstairs, and we're gonna. I uh, yeah, just arranged the lettering in a small, tight, neat little group here, so they don't have to look like they are on the uh, on the airplane to actually cut them out like this. So we're gonna use the laser cutter just because um, laziness, and it'll do a really nice job. So um, here we go. Oh, 
that's not good. <laughs> Hopefully that's all right. Yeah, I think it worked out all right. Let's see. These fans off. Something must have away. That's pretty good. Ninja! Alright, just cut the orange version, the orange in. Get the air in it if you want. Cut two just because it's easy to do and uh, just in case I screw one up. Get one out of there, you. Okay. So I got two logos just in case, as I said, screw one up, got an extra. The next step is to apply the lettering to the wing. So what I've done is I've printed it out on this uh, just 8.5 by 11 paper. It didn't fit on the 8.5 by 11 paper, so I had to print it out on two different pieces and I'm uh, just taping that together here. So I want to take my time here and position it just right. So while I can't actually see through the paper uh, to, to position the lettering underneath, uh, what I can do is uh, if I flip it back very rapidly, back and forward really fast, it sort of blurs and you can kind of uh, see if the lettering is in the right position or not. And of course, you know, I can apply the heat through the iron through the paper, no problem, that works out rather nicely. One more to go, and we're done. So it's important that this lettering is, is really sticks well and doesn't, you know, it's not going to blow off while I'm flying the thing. Uh, I do have the extra backup uh, lettering though, so just in case it does. But um, yeah, I want to make sure it doesn't come off. Ninja, yeah, that looks really cool. I'm very happy with that. Got to add this one silly little bit of black there to the aileron, and we're done. Okay, well, I think that'll do for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like this stuff, and uh, uh, we'll get this thing flying soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.